Hello, welcome to Mastering Fifth Grade Math. Here we're going to begin a, a few lessons here on word problems. We have practiced the skills of adding and subtracting fractions, and I think by now you're pretty good at it, especially with the practice that you get in the worksheets. All right, but what we need to do now is learn how to read a word problem, understand what they're asking, and then do the math, because that is sometimes tough for people to do, and it takes practice. Once you get practice with it, it will be very easy for you to identify what to do. So the first problem goes like this. Bob ate two-fifths of a pizza, and Angie ate one-third. How much did they eat in all? All right. When you see something like, how much do they eat in all, like when you see the words in all, it almost always means that you're adding them together. We know Bob ate some, we know Angie ate some. We're trying to figure out how much in all. That means we need to add these two fractions together. So the fractions we have here are, uh, Bob is eating two-fifths of the pizza, and Angie is eating one-third of the pizza. So we're adding these together, and we want to know how much did they eat all together. So now we look and see, do we have a common denominator? And we don't. So we need to try to figure out what a good common denominator would be. Now when I look at 3 and 5, immediately 15 pops in my head, because 3 times 5 is 15. So over here, we'll have 2 fifths. And we're going to multiply this by 3 over 3, because that'll give me 15 on the bottom. In fact, it'll be 6 fifteenths. Then the bottom fraction is going to be 1 third. And we need to multiply this one by 5 over 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. All right, so now we have two fractions with a common denominator of 15. So we're adding them, so we'll put a plus sign here. Now we have a 15 common, so we'll keep that there. And now we add the numerator. 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 fifteenths, that's the final answer because I can't simplify that. So if one person eats two-fifths of the pizza and another person eats one-third of the pizza, then altogether we have eaten 11 fifteenths of the pizza. And you can't really simplify that anymore. So um, again, you read the problem. First you need to identify what the numbers are. Then you need to identify what to do with them. All right, so let's read the next one and see if we can figure that out. Jenny drove for one half of a trip, and Jane drove for one-sixth of a trip. How much of the trip did they drive uh, all together? So in this case, we know Jenny drove half the trip, Jane drove a sixth of the trip, and notice the last part, how much of the trip did they drive all together? So just like it before, when they, we, how much pizza did we eat in all, here, how much did we drive all together? That's your clue, together, all together, means we have to add everything up. So, since Jenny drove from one half, we'll represent that as one half, Jane drove from one sixth, and we'll add these together like this. So now we're just back to doing our math. We do not have a common denominator, so we have a two and a six, but we know easily we can change the top one to have a denominator of six, because two times three is six. So we'll put times three and times three, and then on the top, that will be uh, equal to three sixths. And over here, we don't have to change anything. We just keep 1 sixth, and we're adding these together. Now, since we have a common denominator, we keep it there. 3 plus 1 gives us 4. So that is the answer, but we always try to simplify. In this case, we can divide the top by 2 and divide, divide the bottom by 2. And so 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is actually 3. So what we get is 2 thirds. So if we have one person drive for one half of the trip and the other person drive for one sixth of the trip, all together they've driven about two thirds of the trip, um, you know, uh, towards their 